Hello guys, it's the HeadphoneAddict.com and today I'm doing a review of the 51st Studios from the company Accidentally Extraordinary, as you can see on the box here. So it's the Accidentally Extraordinary 51st Studios and uh, truth be told, I do not think they are extraordinary by accident. I think these are very well engineered products. So let's talk about the headphones. They have a very nice build with steel and uh, real wood uh, ear cups. And they also have these very sexy looking grills that you can see if the camera would just want to zoom there you can see. Uh, and these grills are actually only for decorative purposes. They um, are not open headphones, they're closed headphones, so that's worth taking a note of. They also have some very good padding on top here, and the ear pads is also very comfortable and padded. So, uh, I believe that most people won't fit their ears in there, so I would say that they're not full size, they're more like um, uh, on ear headphones, at least uh, some part of your ear will probably rest back here. So, uh, partially over ear, partially on ear, I would say. And uh, they are extremely comfortable and they're not very heavy either, even though they look like they're built like a tank. And uh, they indeed look very sexy, very, very sexy. So, and for the price, it's uh, just a no brainer with these looks, even if you just want them as a fashion accessory. However, the sound is also very good. So, uh, all in all a very good product in my opinion. Uh, I do have a couple of criticisms though but nothing major and for the price I think they are hard to beat. So now that I've talked a little bit about the construction let me talk about the cable. It comes with two cables one with uh, control so you can uh, skip music take phone calls it also has a microphone so you can talk uh, however, that cable is not tangle free like this one. As you can see, this has a flat design which is uh, uh, tangle free, so you don't have to worry about tangling cables. I believe that this design is something that they have gotten from the Sony MDR XB headphones, which you can see here. They also have this flat cable which is tangle free however when you look they're not exactly tangle free as they are connected to both cups in the pos uh, in opposition to the AE 51st Studios which is only connected to one cup and they also have detachable cables which is very nice indeed so one criticism is with regard to the cable as you can see uh, the uh, XB 700s have a angled connector which is very nice indeed when you want to connect it up to your phone uh, it doesn't build that much so that's pretty uh, useful especially if you have it in your uh, front pocket or something like that now the 51st studios as you can see builds quite a lot so i wish that they had an angled connector here so uh, it wouldn't build so much uh, the uh, cable with the uh, rem uh, remote control and uh, the uh, microphone uh, also has this type of connector, so it will build, unfortunately. So that's the major criticism I have against the cable, but you can get, uh, you can get another cable. Uh, the um, V-Moda has a 45 degree angled cable, which is uh, superior to the... 90 degree angle cable as well it doesn't put so much strain here when you move around and stuff like that but these are all minor faults in my opinion especially considering the price of these so let's talk about the sound i've tried these with uh, both of these units and also an iphone and uh, 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 an ipod and uh, the ipad and the HTC One, as well as uh, pretty top-of-the-line headphone amplifiers. And I would say that these are driven sufficiently by 
portable devices. So you don't need the hassle of going with an external amp and stuff like that. They will pre play pretty loud and uh, they have a very, very good sound for their price. So I was, uh, I would say that what these do is they have a little bit emphasis on the bass, little bit emphasis on the bass, a little rolled off treble. They don't get harsh at all, but they sound clear, still sound clear. The separation is also very good, very very good. However, they're not something like a two thousand dollar headphone would offer you. Something like the Odyssey LCD twos or uh, LCD threes or something like that. They're not at that um, level. However, they are very good indeed, and uh, the vocals uh, sound very natural. And uh, even if you play some dubstep or something like that, the bass gets both low and uh, it uh, kicks a bit. So very good in the bass department and um, due to the not harsh treble they sound mid and bass focused but clear and um, I have a funny little story about these uh, my sister's uh, my little sister's boyfriend uh, is a huge fan of uh, Beats by Dr. Dre and uh, he uh, came to visit me and brought his uh, Beats by Dre Pro, which is the top of the line from Beats. And uh, he also has the same phone. And uh, he's a big uh, Beats fanboy, uh, walks around with a couple of headphones on his head all the time, and uh, always Beats. And uh, he has this uh, cell with uh, the Beats audio, which you can probably see right there. So it's got Beats audio, which is uh, uh, probably just an equalizer profile and just to talk a little bit about that uh, I think that the HTC ones uh, beats by beats audio is just a, a equalizer profile where when you turn off the beats audio uh, you get uh, an equalizer profile that makes the sound dull and boring and when you turn it on, it boosts both the treble and the bass. So it sounds more V-shaped, it sounds clearer. And uh, okay, finished with that, let's talk about what he did. So he came here and uh, he had a look at these headphones and he immediately went, wow, those look awesome. And uh, he brought his Beats by Dre Pro, as I mentioned, and uh, I said, uh, give them an A-B test and let me know what you think. So he plugged them into his HTC One, listened to them for a minute, I almost had to rip the headphones off his head, and he said, wow, they sound much clearer. Uh, the bass is a little bit better on the pros, but it's not much. And he was really amazed about their quality, and uh, uh, he had more listened to them and he said that even the bass was better on these. It's not that the Beats by Dre Pro has more bass, it's that it has less mids. So since the Beats has poorer mids and poorer highs than these, they sound more bassy. And uh, the Beats by Dre Pro is also said by all those Beats haters out there that uh, uh, they are uh, the be best of the bunch. So considering that these are uh, in my opinion, 10 times as sexy and 10 times as uh, good looking and about 5 times as better sounding than the pros and uh, about probably one-fifth the price. Well, no brainer, go get these. So these are my portable headphones now and I enjoy them a lot. So that's all I have to say about that. I'm just going to swap out the cable and uh, then I'm pretty much uh, home free in the uh, that department. However, I'm going to switch up and try not, uh, other headphones as well, but these are very good and uh, probably very hard to beat. I would also say to all of you out there that enjoy these, which are now discontinued. These are the Sony MDR XB with these huge wheels. Very comfortable. Uh, they sound an awful lot like these, however, these have better mids and highs, so, 
and the MDR XB 700s have the best mids and highs of the bunch with the old series, which were the XB 500, the 300, uh, 700s, and thousands. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Short store, short in conclusion here. Cable is the only downside, price is the huge upside as well as the extremely good looking sturdy build and they're very comfortable, extremely sexy, sound apart and uh, I can't uh, recommend this enough if you're not a treble head. So if you're not after harsh and spiky treble, treble go try these out. Okay guys, thank you for watching and have a nice day.